Hey guys, Ken Ross here. I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at their essential expenses. But today I got something a little different for you. I am actually on location. We are going to go into uh, one of my favorite flower shops of all time, Blooming Gardens. Let's uh, let's get it. So today, Ken, we're going to make a dozen roses. Okay. You're going to make a dozen. I'm going to make a dozen roses. You're going to make a I'm, dozen I'm, roses. I'm excited to learn from the best. So here. you have, you are in luck because we we get these handy dandy little things we call drop in bouquets. Okay. And we get these for holidays only, but they're already it's a pre-mixed bunch of greens okay. <clears throat> that we can use as the base so we're just for this our out. flowers. Okay. So you pull the plastic off, Okay. you cut the rubber band, Okay. and then I gave you clippers, and then we cut the stems and give it about a two inch cut for this particular okay. base. And you want to make sure that even the shorter stems get a cut too. Okay, so you just you just you just let it let it fly, huh? Let it fly. It. That is the beauty of working in the flower shop. You don't have to clean the floor that way. Okay. So All right. you drop it in. Hence the name drop ins. Okay. Oh. All right. Nice. And, so just... and you kind of fluff it and let the greens all fluff out so that it, it gives you a nice loose bouquet. Okay. So something like like that? Kind of like that, but you have to fluff it a little bit more. Okay. So it makes it nice and full. Okay. Okay. Then we'll add a little bit more fern just so that it gives it a little more shape and a little bit form. So what we do is we'll take the lower leaves off. Okay. We'll cut it not too terribly short. Okay. But we add a couple of pieces in the middle. And you can use the clippers or you can use the knife. Some people are afraid oh. of the knife, so you that's just, okay. Just clip it, is it at an <clears> angle? Or? At an angle, preferably. Okay. And the purpose and of the try. angle cut oh. is to keep your green, your stem opening at a wider amount. Okay. So if you do a flat cut, then you've just got that little bit of surface for the water to come through. Okay. If you cut it at an angle, mm -hmm. then that's more of a surface for your water to come in. Okay, yeah, so. bigger surface area, better better, better for water. the plant. Exactly, better for you the can, flowers. Yeah, you can get more water to it. That's cool, all right. So the only thing is, is don't cut the stems too, too short. short. Oh, okay, just. And at an angle. Yeah. Even with the clippers, you can cut them at an angle, and you don't have to turn it upside down. It's okay. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I guess I'm... You're using awkward motions. I, yeah, I have my own way of doing things sometimes. I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, this is cool. So... Um, and sometimes we'll keep the lower pieces and use them in smaller arrangements. Sometimes we don't do it. Just... It depends on what's going on at the time. And then it's on a, on a turntable here. Do it's you like easier, to spin it? I find it easy to work with a Lazy Susan. Yeah because then you can see all the sides wow. and not have to worry about moving it. Okay, and then you can make some adjustments based on And you on make adjustments as you're working it. Okay. Okay. All right. So what you, the, the whole thing to accomplish it is to have some coming around the outside to give you a framework, and then in the top, some of the longer pieces in the top to give you some height Okay. and more of a framework. So you need... Width and height. Width and height. That's exactly. what we're looking for. Okay. So, so here's another piece we put in underneath. All right. So that gives you a collar, I call it, okay. underneath to, to just frame up your flowers nicely. Okay. So there's really no science to it, just kind of, kind of look. Well, there's a little bit of science to it. I mean, you want it to be balanced. You want it to not go wonky on one side and not the other, and you don't want it to be everything really tall or everything really short. <coughs> and you'll see leaves and trash in the water, but what happens is when we finish, okay. we take the flowers in hand, pull it all out, and change the base. Oh. Put fresh water with food. 
in the vase. Okay. So then that way they go out pretty and you don't have any trash in there. Because some of the greens and some of the flowers have trash on the stems. Right. So if you leave you're kind of like clean. then it looks ugly and the customer will complain. So right. You and you're kind of like cleaning them a little bit too. Exactly. So that exactly. you don't have. And some people will take the, um, the bunches of fern and put them in under the water and rinse them off because if you can see there's, yeah, yeah. there's fur on it yeah but that's just the natural that. state of the, fl the leaves so okay that's how they grow barbie 69 sorry are you 69 i don't know no, no i thought six, you were 66 oh, 67 oh. oh the other day you had said 69 i'm just trying to get it because we're trying to set up the tiktok thing now so we're going to work with red roses all right so this is a bundle of 25. okay that's how they come packed. It doesn't look like 25 because what they do is when they grade them at the farm, they'll put longer stems towards the top and the shorter stems in below. So they're layered. They're all 60 centimeters, but they are layered for convenience and for shape. Oh, wow. So okay, you see yeah, I see how that. they are. Yeah. And they're protected. And then you'll see you've got some ugly petals, but those are what we call guard petals protects the rose in transit and shipping. Mm -hmm. So what happens is when we're making the roses, then we'll pull those guard petals off and you'll have a beautiful rose. Okay. You don't leave them on because then that would be ugly for the customer. Absolutely. But because you kind of have an even amount of each size, you take six of the short ones and six of the long ones for each dozen roses you're making. Mm -hmm. And this is my favorite part. I get to throw trash on the floor. <laughs> okay. And then you said the there's 25, so there's 25, an, so, so would there's, that be there an extra one? There's always one extra one. Just in case you have a broken head. I'm not sure the whole science between why they do 25, um, but I think a lot of it is just so that if something breaks, then you've got something to replace it. Yeah, or that one, that extra one could be just for you. Or could be, could right? be. <laughs> so, cool. so that's what we've got is we've got those. So okay. show you. So we go through and we'll take the 12 and the, the okay, six so and these six. Are mine. Okay. Those are yours, Okay. plus the one extra. Plus the one so extra. you take your four short, or I mean your six short and your six <laughs> long okay. and lay them out. And the easiest way to do it is put your shorts all together and your longs all together so that you are okay with that you you've got them separated okay so i think these are the short ones i got three seven there and six here so that's good because i have the extra one okay you've got the extra one so you want to take that extra and put it to the side for now okay so that you don't get it confused <laughs> all right i'll put that one over here and you don't end up putting it in there and then they end up with 13 roses and God forbid there's somebody that's superstitious and they have 13 and then they get upset. So okay, all right, so that. I got my okay. short ones over here, my long ones over here. So what you start with is you'll take your take your short ones, short ones. your short ones first, all right. and you want to pull those ugly guard petals off. Okay. Check to see if you've got any thorns on there because you don't want to put thorns in there. If you put thorns in with this, mm -hmm. it'll tear the know. greens up and then it'll make more trash in your vase. Okay. So you don't want to do that, and okay. it breaks them. Okay. So you want to pull them off, and you want to try and keep it as clean as you can, because sometimes they, they come through and you have, leave a little bit of residue, and it, it's ugly. Okay. So then if you have any broken leaves on that stem, you want to clean those off, too, because then that looks ugly, too. Oh, OK. So it's, you're sending out a, a thing of beauty, so you want to make sure it's beautiful. Right. All these details. Lots really do matter do matter when it yes, comes to do. the appearance of what you're doing here you can make a, a nice bouquet you don't want and yeah you can lay it on drop it on the floor it's fine yeah no i now, I've, I've gotten that part i've gotten now, that part if you then. have things like this leaf is kind of funky and everything else okay. yeah just pull, just it, pull off. it off okay and pull it off at the stem because then that way that could break and then right, it makes right. it messy yeah. okay mm -hmm. all right so i got the i think i got the hang of this part And then you do the same with your long roses. Okay. Yeah, now we have to figure out how we're going to set it up. We got the TikTok account going, Barb. Okay, cool. All right. Oh. 
So, mm. on that note, then you you, you got your uh, your staff here mm -hmm. creating your TikTok TikTok account. We're TikTok. gonna go TikTok. You're, you've definitely evolved over the many years we are here trying. at Bloom Gardens. Can you tell me a little bit about how? I know we've, we've talked about this before, COVID has affected your business in the past, but it, more recently, even within like the last six months, you were telling me about finding people to, to do this, this craft and, and what that entails. It's, it's challenging trying to find employees and staffers to be able to do the work and help us out. Um, <clears throat> we've been advertising for six months, trying to find help. Um, whether people have the talent and choose not to use it, or they're all going out on into business on their own, I don't know. But it's a, from everything I hear with all of the different florist boards that I'm on, it's not uncommon. It's across the country. Nobody can find experienced help. So countrywide, country you're saying, wide. there is a, a pandemic of sorts of uh, experienced florists. Experienced florists, designers. That's, that's definitely kind of like the new pandemic. So exactly. People, people yeah. talk about that even in different other industries too, mm -hmm. exactly. and that's uh, that's that's been the trend. So, but it's it's a been a, it's been a real challenge trying to get help, and unfortunately or fortunately, I have learned to say no to things. Um, mm -hmm. As I keep saying in all the meetings, um, if it's a holiday, get your order in early because I may have to tell you no, and and that has happened quite a bit. Is I have had to say no to regular customers to new customers because I just can't get all the work completed without killing myself and killing my staff. Absolutely, yeah, you definitely. And, and we've got to be able to get the work done and I don't want to cause a problem with the quality of the work because I can't get it physically done. Yeah, So. well that's truly important. I'm glad that you recognize that because I think a lot of business owners, they've been forced even to just shut down because they're like, yeah. I can't handle the work. I don't want to do this. It's not fun anymore, or I'm not passionate about it because of the stress. Yeah, it's it's, it. it's stressful, and and if I want to take time off, I have to close up, and which I have done mm -hmm. because I have need breaks. things I want to do. I've got mm -hmm. things I have to do, so I need the break. I close up. I just make sure that it's a weekend where I don't have anything that is urgent. Okay. So that I work with my customers and help them out too. All right, well, I'm catching up here. I got like three yeah, more here. I'm trying. You're the, you're the pro. So while, while we're waiting for you, I'm going to trade out. I have a couple of roses that okay. I'm not real happy with the quality. Okay. So I'm going to change them for others to have make sure that I have what I want for my customers. Okay. And so and how do you make that determination? Is it really just kind of like the look it's, of it? It's visual. Okay. It's strictly visual. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four that I'm not real happy with them. So I will trade those four out and replace them with others. Okay. Um, they may be fine in a wrapped bouquet or a mixed arrangement, but in something that is the rose is the focal flower. I've got to make sure that each one of the roses is a perfect rose. Well, you may have to make that determination for me when it comes to this here. I'm, I'm doing my best here. I kind of look for that Beauty and the Beast look. Uh -huh. You know, I know that's a popular movie that has a rose and it. it's just one right. single rose. Single rose. But that's what I'm looking for, I guess, in some sense. But I don't know if I like that one there. Yeah. That one looks. Yeah, that one looks like it could probably have a better one in its place. Yeah. I, okay. All right, so we would we would so swap that out for the the extra one over here. Then I guess I got this one. Well, if you or look at it, if it's a the same length rose, then that would work. If it's oh, okay. Not, then no, not. that one that one's the short but one. Here's this is another long. one, so that we can trade that one out. Okay. All right. Let's try that. All right. Oh yeah, that that I can definitely tell. You can see the difference. There's a grade to each one. You could you could probably scale each one on a one to five type of thing or something. And okay. Oh, and then, I don't know, there's this pedal there like that? Is that how that works? Yeah, okay. just clean it up and make it pretty. Okay. And then the leaves, like... I, they look nice. Okay, all right. Okay, you set with that? All right, I think okay. I'm good. All right, so, so the, what's next? The next thing is what we do, and, and what I do, and I find it easier for me and for people when I'm teaching them, 
is I'll take and I'll do the lower level first. So I'll take my short roses first, and sometimes what I'll do is I'll just set them so that they're all the same length, and then I will cut them all together. Okay. And you don't have to do it. I find it easy, and it's easy for a lot of people to follow me, is I'll take and I'll cut them all the same length, and I'll take them and put them in the vase, equal distance around, and that's part of the reason why I use the turntable because okay. it allows me to do that. And then how much how much are we going to take off at the We're bottom? We're going to take off about maybe a half inch. Okay. So not very much. And then you cut it at an angle. Uh-huh. I'm going to try to, try to fire them this way instead of It doesn't towards. matter. We get stems flying, rubber bands flying, all kinds of stuff all the time. All right. So got them all the same length, and then I just so stick them in. So then you take them in around the outside, equal distance around. This one, this one's a little bit closer. There you go. I'm a perfectionist at heart, so I'm sure this is, there's probably a better science to this. Um, at some point, I would, I would change my process, I'm sure. Okay, here we go. Right. I mean, once here. you, you do it often enough, you develop a rhythm to it. Yeah. It's like that? Yeah, not bad. Not, not bad. bad? Okay. Not bad, not bad for not my bad. first try? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so this one's mine, and that one's yours, and uh, you can spin it around just a little bit like that. It looks, it looks good for a, for a college try there. So then, then what we do? We have this fantastic stuff that's called leaf shine. Okay. It's I call it hairspray for the flowers. Okay. It's not really what it does. Is it the flowers all come in with a little bit of water? Um, you know, you get you get the mineral residue on your house and on things at home. Mm-hmm. You get the same thing on the on the flowers and on the leaves. So it just it tweaks shines them up. It yeah. just shines them up. It's it's the finisher. Okay. Gives it that nice uh, nice fresh look. Even right, I love it. So that's what you do. Before I was rudely interrupted by my battery. I'm sure we missed some of it, but in general, we got it all sorted out here we got the, the five in the middle the longer stem and then the six Correct. on the outside with the one in the center there that's pretty right. cool and then you sprayed it right and mm-hmm. i think i got that Absolutely. part and, and now then, we're going to add you said wax add, flower this is called wax flower it's okay. it's on the same idea as baby's breath but i like it better it's a little bit more upscale okay and it's just it's an accent that's all it is, is it's an accent. And, and again, you, can, you can use baby's breath or any other types of things. You can use baby's breath. I are there don't other, often have it. Are there other things there people use? There are other things, too. Okay. There's lots of stuff. So you just kind of add it in in, in different places, kind of um, disperse it around. Okay. Again, you want to keep your garbage off of the stem, so you want to clean your stems up. And you just kind of add it in in different places in the middle. Okay. So that it dresses up your flowers a little bit. Say like in between different ones and stuff. In between. Okay. All right. And if you've got yeah. little pieces of it, you can keep them for something else, a smaller flower arrangement. Okay. We try not to throw away too much. You don't really like to have too much trash. Okay. Um, because as somebody who worked for me at one time said, every flower is money. Flowers so, equal money, right? Every money. flower. They all cost That's, money. Yeah. So. Sort of like time is money. Time is money too. Flowers. <laughs> so, I mean, we'll have little pieces like these. These we can use for other things. When we have a small vase arrangement or something short. Yeah, and I see you got, got a little container here on the we side. Keep a little tra- where you just keep what we it, call huh? trash containers, so you can make a little trash arrangement out of it. Okay. I got a few in here. I need a, probably one right there. Take one for that. So I think mine is, is pretty well done. Okay. Hmm. I, think I might need one one or two more somewhere. Right, maybe right there. Mm-hmm. No? Actually, you got, let's see. You can do, and what you can do is you can move them around so that it disperses oh, okay. it a little bit better. 
Yeah. So. Okay. Time. Give you another piece for right down in the center, so don't cut too much off of it. All right. <laughs> that, and then just the right next to the big. In, in, that, in that spot right there. Okay. All your tickets with cards and charge. Thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. That looks perfect. Okay. So. Alrighty. There we are. Is that that's so, pretty much it, and then you got to take it take then, it out, right? And what we do is we'll go ahead and get fresh faces. Okay. And and you don't have to do it that way, but it's easier sometimes. We'll fill them with water okay. and put a squirt of flower food in it, and then we will take those both great roses, the whole piece, mm -hmm. without the base, and drop it in a new base. Okay. So it's literally the same, it's the same vase too. Like it's it's not, the there's same nothing vase. different. So you just lift it out. Yeah. Gently lift it out. You want to pull some of that trash that might get caught in the stems yeah. off so it doesn't trash your water. Right. And then and just, just drop it in the new vase. Wow. See okay. the difference in the in the water. Yeah, I definitely see the difference there. So you went from something like that to this. Right? That's what it looks like. So you're just pulling it out. And make sure you get all the stems back in the base when you do it. Absolutely. So there's your, your dozen roses. And then you do the finishing touch. And we can really bit. test you and make you have to make a bow. Oh, I don't, I, don't know, I don't know about that. I think I want to leave that to the expert. I think that's, that's the touch right there I know takes probably a little more. Uh, dress it up with just oh. a little bit of a bow. And it makes a, a pretty gift presentation. Now, now, do you use different colors of bows then? For Depends on what you're using for flowers. Okay. So we usually try to match it. I don't really want to put a pink oh. bow with red roses okay. necessarily. But um, we'll, we try to match it out depending on what the occasion is or, and, or if the customer has a request. Sometimes okay. they have a request. Yeah. So match the bow to the roses unless, yeah. unless otherwise... Uh, uh, you know, requested, mm -hmm. or or maybe even a thought. Like I could see maybe even like on the Fourth of July, you have the red roses with a blue red, bow white, or a blue. white. Yeah, do red, white, and blue. That would be cool. But um, but yeah, that's that's awesome. Okay. And we keep leftover stems that you know we didn't throw away and use them for a stick to put the bow in the arrangement because otherwise it's just gonna float freely. Okay. Goes right in there like that. Cut it. Wow. Finish it off, and then for marketing purposes, we put a Blooming Garden sticker on it. Yeah. So. Awesome. Well, I, I really I really enjoyed that. This has been quite an experience to know kind of how things work when it comes to flower arrangements, mm -hmm. the different aspects of it. This is this has been wonderful. Cool. Thank you.